Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching this video. Now, we are almost at 400 subscribers for a less than two month old channel and this is thanks to you guys out there. So I just want to say thank you. I really appreciate your support. So for those of you who are new here, you can join us just by simply clicking the red subscribe button. We love to have you here at this channel with us. And also don't forget to click the like button if the video helps because the like button is very important for us to reach out to more audience. All right. So today's guy, I'm going to cover step by step how do you start cooking we're gonna start off by buying a house okay and from there on how to get utensils how to identify the different types of ingredients and all the producers that we're gonna get from cooking what are we gonna do with it okay how does it benefit you in CP in silver in everything all right so without further ado I'm gonna jump into the video right now and I hope you guys enjoy this little tutorial now, the first thing we want to do is press M on the keyboard, okay? We go to the world map screen and we want to go to Velia town icon, all right? The first town that you guys started the game at and we want to click on that town icon. Once we click in, we'll see all these houses in different colors. Don't worry, it's very simple. Blue ones means you can buy it now. Gray ones means you need to buy a blue in order to open up the rest. White one means you already own the house, okay? So we're gonna left click on Velia 3-1 and the reason we are buying this unit is because it is near to Ergo Batali and near to the cook house over here, all right? So we're gonna left click on 3-1 and then we are not gonna use it as a storage. We are not gonna use it as a refinery. We are gonna use it as a residence. So select residence and click purchase residence. It will say it's require one contribution point. Don't worry, if you need to sell the house, you're going to get back the contribution point. So you don't lose your contribution point from this. Click yes and it's done. All right. So for residence buying, you just need to buy a house, set it to residence. All right. And you're pretty much done. So the next thing we're going to do is press escape to go back to our in-game screen. The next thing we want to do is to buy the cooking utensil so that we can use it to cook and also the cooking ingredients so that we can cook the food that we want. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is to highlight the fact that today's video started at Chief Ego Batali because I want to show you guys this door over here at the background. All right, so this is the entry to the cookhouse. What you want to do is just go over here enter the cookhouse, turn over to this side and find Chef David Finto. We will start off by pressing R to interact with Chef Finto and then go to his shop icon and left click on it. The next thing we want to do is look at the two different cooking utensils that we have here. The difference between them is this is 1000 silver at 100 durability, okay? This is 50,000 silver at 500 durability. Now, you will realize that for most players, all right, once they cook for a while, they will go for the more expensive 500 durability version because of the fact that the more durability means the more you can AFK while it automatically cooks. So that's pretty much the reason. But for beginners, if you want 500 durability without the cost of 50,000 silver, all you need to do is come to this one, which is 100 durability with 1,000 silver, right click, right click, right click, five times. And you have five cooking utensils. All together, they are 500 durability at the cost of 5,000 silver, all right? So you don't have to spend 50,000 because right from the start, you wouldn't have that much ingredients to cook and you definitely won't be AFKing for a long time, all right? So I would suggest you do this to save a little bit of money for the starters. Now, the next thing we want to look at is ingredients, okay? Ingredients wise, if you look at the list here on the left side of your screen here, now I have listed the four ingredients. However, for the last ingredient, I will not talk about it right now because we can't buy it here. So let's look at the first one. One sugar. Second one is six mineral water. Third one is two leavening agent. This is the recipe for cooking beer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to buy in multiples of 100. So if it says one sugar, I'm going to click sugar over here and I'm going to click buy multiple and key in 100 and press okay 
So I got 100 sugar in my inventory. Please do not mix it up for raw sugar, okay? They are two different things. Next thing I want to do is go for the second item by scrolling down. You can see mineral water is here. Now it says six mineral water. So I'm gonna click mineral water, click buy multiple and type 600 because I'm buying in multiples of 100 right now. So press OK. So it will say buy 600 mineral water for 18,000 silver. Yes, I'm going to do that, okay? So 600 mineral water. The next item is leavening agent. Leavening agent, it says two. So I'm gonna buy multiple and I'm gonna get 200. Press okay. So I get my first three basic ingredients. What about the grains? Okay, let me talk about the grains a little bit. Grains, as you can see from my list below, I have this bracket saying that grains can be either barley or corn or potato or wheat. So any of this material can be used for this so-called last ingredient, all right? And I'm gonna show you guys where to get it shortly. So for the last ingredient, given the range of choices we have, I'm gonna start off this tutorial by using potato instead. Now for potato, there's two ways to get it. You can buy from this marketplace NPC behind me just by going to him, interact, and then just go to market central market itself and you just need to type potato okay just type it press enter and this is the item that you're looking for all right so you left click on potato and you can just buy the quantity that you want all right and press buy currently there are 17 listed so i can only buy 17 the remaining will be placed under a pre-order now i can either buy it by spending money like this or I can use my worker empire to gather it for free. Now, what do I mean by worker empire to gather it for free? In Black Desert Online, you can send your workers out to gather materials, including potato for you. And then when they gather the potatoes, they will bring it back to the storage. As you can see, I haven't really managed my Valia storage and I have 33,000 over potatoes here. So I can easily take out right now because the recipe requires me to have like five potatoes. So I can take out 500 of it easily, all right, and press OK. So now I got my potato. If you guys are at this point curious about how you can send your workers, for example, if you look at my world map, my workers is actually gathering potato here, gathering potato over here, and they are gathering potato almost at every knot that they can find. If you want to know how to do this and get potatoes for free every single day, check out my Worker Empire Beginner's Guide, okay? It's the Worker and Not Beginner's Guide. I'm gonna put the link in the description. So for now, if you don't have your Worker Empire, feel free to buy it from the marketplace, but start your Worker Empire as soon as possible because there's a lot of free stuff that you can get from it, all right? So with all this done and my potatoes, the last item, Okay, I'm gonna run back towards Igor Batali. Okay, so just bear with me a little bit. I'm showing you this whole process so that you know how to go and where to find Igor Batali. So Igor Batali is here. The cookhouse is behind him. Where is Velia 3-1? It's actually just beside over here. And you can remember it by these steps, okay? So I'm gonna to go to tree one right now, which is my residence. So this is my house over here. I will cover more of this in depth in another guide, but for now, I'm just gonna get you to the point where you can cook. Right now, you want to press control so that your cursor is free. Go to place mode on top here. Click place mode. And you go to this something like a Sims, all right? Build and decorate your house mode. All you need to do is take note of this bottom bar over here. Okay, anything that has a P, you can't use it because it stands for premium item, you gotta buy it from the cash shop, okay? Anything that doesn't have a P, for example, this whole list, you can use it. Because I have actually um, sold my house just to do this tutorial, so all my properties are actually in this inventory. So right now, what I want to do is left click one time on this object over here on this list. Once you left click one time, you will be able to move your mouse inside the house and get ready to place it. Left click one more time and this interface shows up. Click this down arrow or press spacebar to confirm the placement. Once you're done with the placement, all you need to do is press escape and click yes 
to exit this mode. And you come back to this mode whereby you see the cooking utensils there. It's very straightforward. Now, move to the cooking utensil. This is where you need to be very, very careful. Look at the durability. It says 100 out of 100. You will stop cooking in two conditions. Number one, durability of this cooking utensil runs to zero. Or number two, you run out of ingredients. Okay, so this is the two ways you will actually end up stopping the cooking process. To start cooking, press R. Okay, and what you want to do is this. Look back at the recipe. Okay, do not throw everything in because you're not supposed to throw everything in. Okay, you're only supposed to throw in one batch of so-called quantity for the cooking of whatever you need. So what do I mean by one batch? We need five grains, which in terms right now is potato. So key in five and put it in. We need two leavening agent. So we're gonna put two leavening agent, put it in. We need six mineral water. So we're gonna right click on it, put six mineral water in. Finally, one sugar. So right click on it, press enter, put it in. So this is for one cycle of cooking one batch of beer that we are talking about here. Now, how do we cook like hundreds of it? Because we just bought it in a multiple of 100. So we should be able to cook in 100. There is this batch production icon here. Click batch production. So it did remind you, you're supposed to put ingredients for only one batch, okay? So this is one batch, remember this, okay? So we're gonna click yes right now. And over here, it will give you this window again. You can take maximum quantity because we bought in multiples of 100. So we obviously is gonna cook 100 if we want to and press okay. So this is where you will see this little bar at the bottom. You look at it, it will complete one round and it will continue for the second round. So here it will show you that you have succeeded in the cooking of beer. So another time you have succeeded in the cooking of beer. So it will continue to generate this over and over and over and over again until either your durability wants to zero for the cooking utensil or you run out of ingredients. You can at any point of time press I, which is your inventory, to check what you have gotten. Okay, so I've gotten 12 beers as of now, all right? I've already gotten 12 beers as of now, and I'm gonna take out my pet, okay? I'm gonna try to summon my fairy, but unfortunately, I can't do it right now because my fairy is kind of like blocked by this place mode icon. But nonetheless, okay, the fairy only gives me luck, so it doesn't really matter. So for now, let's just continue with the cooking process and see what else we got. We have an additional cold draft beer. So as you can see, despite cooking over time, I'm getting 27 normal beer, two cold draft beer. Now that's unbelievable because why am I getting so many beer where I hardly even cook 10 times? You guys must be wondering that. Now, my answer to you guys here is this. When you press P on your window, all right, you wanna go to live info tab. Over here, you will look at cooking. Okay, this is my cooking level right now. I don't cook that much, so it's only at artisan six. The higher the level here, okay, you will increase the number and types of items produced. For example, at artisan six, when I'm cooking, even without my lucky fairy and whatever things, I am getting extra 14 of this beer. I'm getting this strongly seasoned dish. I am getting taken out food. All right, and you look at the increase. Okay, now it's 96. As it finished one round at about now, it will jump to 100. That is four beers in one cycle. Okay, take a look again. Now it's 100. As it finishes now, it gives 20, 100 to 120. This is what it means by the item quantity will increase. So the more you cook, the higher a level, the more you get in one cycle. Plus, you start to get all these things, all right? So what I'm gonna do right now is that I'm gonna leave it to cook for a while and then I'm gonna explain all these little things shortly to you guys, all right? So at this point, I'm just gonna stop cooking for now and I'm gonna press I on my inventory. 
I'm going to explain to you the items that I've got, okay? I've got 150 beer, which I will use to feed my workers, all right? The worker empire that I mentioned earlier on. You can refer to my beginner's guide for it. And then for the cold draft beer, I can choose to feed it to my workers or sell it to the market, okay? They always sell very fast, so sometimes I do sell this item. Now, let's look at the five miscellaneous items that we've gotten here. Never ever throw them away, okay? They are very useful. Let's look at the first piece. When we have three of this, okay, look at the description here, we can exchange for one milk with an NPC at Heido, or we can exchange for one milk with an NPC at Northern Wheat Plantation. It's up to us where we want to go, all right? Now, this next item, if we take five of this, we can exchange for cooking EXP with an NPC. If we use this item over here, this third item, five of this gets us 3,000 silver. That's free money, all right? And when we go for this, this is five contribution points, okay? This is five contribution points, which is very, very good for us. Now, this is two beer, means we can even get more beer when we use two of this to exchange for beer, all right? So here are all the requirements. How many of these ingredients you need to exchange for one beer, how many you need to exchange for one contribution points, and so on and so forth. So you want to right-click this and click NPC location. The moment you click NPC location, you can press M, it will route you to the nearest NPC and to who you can exchange it from. And as you guys know, I don't want to end my video the past conventional way. So I have been always supporting the creative content, being a designer myself. So basically what I'm doing nowadays is that I'm ending my video with creative contents, so-called shared by the artists themselves. So permission has been given and I'm also crediting their names, all right, in the screenshots that I'm going to show you guys shortly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to click that red subscribe button if you haven't. And the most important thing is just help me click that thumbs up like button, please. And without further ado, enjoy the screenshots. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.